Well, this is a first. I failed. I can't fucking do it. I've tried everything. I need to uh, check my tool in. Probably might want to have steel. I know that the lathe's set right. Anyway, here's a compilation. A compilation. There you go. Here's a compilation of all the fuck ups. Watch out for part three, because I'm actually going to make one. one. It's the next day, and we're still all set up, ready to go. I've just spent um, a glorious time messing. If you follow my vlogs, my vlog, you'll see that I've been doing the dark arts. Now, it took me a while to understand that on the sheet, these are marked as whatever teeth they are, S on the end, which is spacer. And it is just a spacer. These are marked I, which is idler gear, which means that they're not driven directly. They run off another gear, this one. Well, that one, actually. Um, and so on and so forth. But now I'm pretty sure that I've got it running. I've dropped the speed right down. I've not gone into the back gears, though. But we've got the speed pretty slow. And we've got the indicator on. So we can hit a mark every time when we start cutting a thread and we can see that it feeds quite happily. Now I don't know if it does HTPI, the only way that I'm going to tell properly is to uh, give it a go, give it a cut. So wish me luck. We'll get set up and have a go. I've marked the inside with the die chem, red, and I've got my compound set at 29 degrees, as per the uh, usual. There's thousands of videos about this shit out there, so I'm not going to educate you on screw cutting. I am by far not the person to ask, and I've got to tell you, I'm really nervous. I'm thinking that this part here might end up being number two out of three. Okay, now I've got nothing that measures 8 TPI. It's such an obscure thread. I can't even go an inch in with my rule and count eight grooves because the threaded portion is not an inch long. It's about three quarters of an inch long and we've got a good six and a bit. So it's got to be about right. We'll keep going. So we endeavor to press on and see what happens, my friends. We'll do another 10 thou cut. So we're backing a compound across 10 thou, which will put the mark on 80. And we're going to wait for that number two to come around. Good old number two. I'm going to give myself a bit more distance in case I have to uh, abort. I can't see the number very clearly. There it is. Right, you're going to have to wait. I'm sorry this is so tedious, but I'm scared. So, two, in, off we go. Not in the same place, is it? So that's not worked. So it appears to have worked. We're just going to do one last pass, um, and we'll see how that goes. It looks as though the damage I did missed time in the cut. I don't understand why that happened, but it did. It's been machined out. So I'm going to do one final pass, and then we're going to check it for size. So we'll try our best to get the vice off with the work still in it. See, so that's the method in our madness. I just jumped out of the log. So again, in the go. We fucked it, it's gone, it's moved it, look. Whoa, this is live. We're gonna have to hope that that works because we're never gonna get it back in there where it wasn't cut a thread. I was hoping to leave the piece in 
and then everything would be happy, everything would be where it was going to be, and we could try it and then put it back in if we needed to machine it more. But we can't do that, so this might be uh, this might be reject number two. Let's see. It looks pretty good actually, and it's not having it. It's not right. It's tight. The thread's too tight. Bugger. What a shame. It looks about right as well. Let's see if I can uh, get it back. There's got to be a way. No, it's nearly there. Another cut or two and we'd have been laughing. So I could have popped it back in with the chuck all together. Um, but let's see what... Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is fuck? That's number two. Number two, down the shitter. Uh, off camera, the light's gone off. I've been putting the... F trying to pitch it back up. Trying to find the right pitch again for the thread, for the screw cutting and... Uh, I thought I'd about got it dialed in and I was changing the speed to fast when I was backing it out by hand and I forgot to change it slow. So I've crashed it, I've ruined the tool. The job, I'm never gonna make so. I don't think. I need to get another tool. So I won't chuck this bit out. I'll leave it, I'll get another tool and we'll have to go from there, won't we? So trials and tribulations. It's turned into a bit of a gruller. Let's get a new tool and see how we get on. Third time's the charm. Oh. I don't know where I've put victim number two, but <laughs> victim number one's here. I cut the taper on the wrong end. Victim number two, thread cutting went just out the window. Victim number three, I've got enough material for one more, I think. So I'm hoping that we don't mess this up and uh, I'm going to just set it up just the same as the others. I've already done the relief hole. I've already done this to size. It's a thread. It's a rough pitch thread as well. Number eight. It's like, it's, it is what it is. I've got the machine set as you've seen and I'm going to go and I'm going to screw cut it because I found a tool. I found a tool that takes carbide into it, see if it will focus. Look. So, <clears throat> I've had a play. I could not match up the threads on victim number two, so get my pattern on. Um, so, I've had to make another one, another blank, if you like. Wow. I've got it down to like 10 minutes. The time it takes from coming out of the saw, I've actually marked, I've just seen that, me chuck, where I crashed the tool on the last one. It's missing the job though, but it's not going to miss my parallels if I'm not careful, so I need to make sure that that misses it, like that. And then, I'm talking like you can see, but you can't, can you? Push, tighten, pull the parallels out, have a look. Yeah. Don't that crash, I'm a bit... I would say scared of it, but, you know, it makes you think, don't it? Just had some light cuts. As I said uh, earlier, there's more out of the chuck than there is in, so I don't want to go too mad. I want you to get a nice continuous cut. We'll call it happy days, because we're going to take most of this off anyway, aren't we? Here we go. There we go. Look at the big curly whirly coming off. Nice and smooth. And bingo. So, that now means that we are all set up to thread cut. I'm just going to change the speed. I don't know what happened with a mismatch. Oh, this one's more gentle. Last time, it should, if you index that line every time, it should hit it and it should be bang on. So, don't know. Let's just die this up. And while that dries, I'm going to have a brew. So, I've touched off 
destroyed a bit. I don't know why I put it on to be fair because I've not changed the setting. So if I was wrong before, I was wrong. I don't know how to make it right. <laughs> Let's have a go, eh? So I'm going to take a light pass, just a 10 thou cut, right? And we want 70 thou cut in total. And I'm going to wait until it goes on the line and hit it. And there we go. See how it jumped? It did, didn't it? No, I'm going to back it off. Back it up, back it up. Bring it out. Back to zero. Ten. Another ten. I can't see jump. Can that? Did that actually move? Wait till it gets the line. Poof. Rinse. <laughs> Was it lot the rinse repeat? So I'm not going to bore you with me doing that because that would be boring. But. I will endeavour to carry on and I'll catch up with you. Now, I know the eagle eyed amongst you. I'll have noticed that I'm die coming another um, blank. Yeah. I'm seeing things that ain't there. I'm hearing noises when there's nothing happening. I'm on number four. Number four. Yeah. Okay, number four. Woohoo! Hello, then, kids. Scream if you want to go faster. Um, I've learned through the trial and error that I'm going to leave it engaged and I'm going to back it off by hand and do all that. I'll do it off camera. I'll just take a starting pass and. Uh, go from there I guess I'm, this is like the end of it I've never known yeah, job right I'm gonna take a tenth out cut on the compound wait for a mark and might as well have that one here we go wish me luck then we stop the machine back it off by hand and go from there close to a stop and there's a turn it the chuck by the expo teeth method because we like to vary it up a bit there we go getting close now i think that we're about one or two cuts off so i put a bit of oil on and off we go right this should be the last pass, last pass saloon. We'll try after this. Try after this. Oh, I see it's cocked up, it's moved, look, it's gone. What's that all about? It's like the words conspiring against me. If this don't fit, I'm out. How's that? Just to let you know. I've got no idea why that came out. I've been cutting fine, it looks good, everything felt good. Oh, it's a bit dodgy at that end actually, a bit of a double helix or something going on. I don't believe this will fit for one minute. And I'm right, it don't. That's me. That's me, I'm out. Whatever's going on with this, it's not for me. I'll give it my best shot and failed, to be fair, you know. Four attempts is enough. So there you go. I don't think I've ever seen a video how to where the bloke that's doing it can't fucking do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I've got one, two, Three, four fucking paperweights. That's what I've made. Four fucking paperweights. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. That last one jumped out of the chuck on the last cut. You saw it cutting? Well, you might not have seen it. I might not even put this second part out, to be fair. I might just cover it in a vlog. Don't know. 
I ain't got a clue. It is very, very seldom that I try to do something like this. Uh, fucking Spider-Man has no one to do, won't he bless him? Try to do something like this and don't fucking pull it off. But it's beat me. It's fucking done me. My desire to finish it is, um, doesn't overcome the obstacle of four defeats. I might have enough material left to have one last go, but I'm struggling to see the point, to be fair. <laughs> Now, if you've been following, if you've been asked to keep up, to be fair, as we say where I'm from, <laughs> you'll have noticed, look, I'm in back gears now. Of all I've done, I've been methodical, I've slowed everything right down, and uh, I'm hoping that if I keep constipated enough, I mean concentrated enough, we'll get a That's it. Yeah, what, um, what I think the problem is, aside from me not knowing what I'm doing, it's all a learning curve. <clears throat> I think my setup's a bit off. I think maybe the thread itself is too deep for the tool that I've got, yeah? I think my threading tool bottoms out on the peaks, if you like, if that makes sense to you. Before it gets that deep, I'm looking at the thread now, and the it's a fucking deep thread. <laughs> um, much deeper than my tool appears to be. I'll try and get in on it. And here we go, look, look, here we go. There's the thread, look. Um, here's my threading tool. And I think the issue is that that is what I mean. It is. It's too small to cut that. It's see this shoulder. You can see where it's been banging. If it'll focus, it's scrubbed there. It's scrubbed there. It's the wrong profile. It's not deep enough for the pitch of thread that I'm trying to do. Um. Which means I'm never, ever, ever going to achieve it. This one's just, this the tool's crashing against the job as it's coming out before I get a depth of cut that I need. And it is never going to cut out thread well enough to go on. That nearly goes on as well. What a shame. Uh, we're there, look. It starts of a fashion and then that's your lot. So, it's back to your drawing board. Jeez.